Hey guys, so right now I've got a cold hardy citrus sitting in front of me. This is a Dunstan Citramello. I've got a bunch of seeds. Um, I'm going to try to make this as quick and easy, but this is going to be a how to grow citrus from seed. But to get started, this is what you're going to need. Whether you've got fresh citrus fruit, uh, which we've got right here, it's a Dunstan. I got some of the seeds out, I didn't get all of them. Or you've got seeds that have been sitting in a bag. Now, the reason why they're sitting in a bag um, is because sometimes when you eat the fruit, you're not ready to plant it right away. So the best thing to do is rinse the seeds off in water and set these inside of a bag with a little bit of water. But you want to get as much of the juice and everything off as possible so that way it doesn't start to mold up too bad. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes there's no avoiding it. But, but what this is going to do, what I'm about ready to show you, it's going to speed up your germination. It's going to cut it in half. You're going to speed up by at least two weeks. Um, not only that, but you're also going to have more seedlings grow this way. And a lot of people don't, don't know this, but um, citrus have a protective coating on them. There we go. And you can see this protective coating that came off of the seed. It's like a shell. Now, once you get that off, just set that to the side and start on the next one. If you can see that. All right. So I got two just now, uh, just within the last minute or so. <clears throat> But in this case, if you can see right there, it's starting to split open on its own, which is awesome because I don't have to peel it. And in fact, this one over here too is starting to split on the back side. So I'm actually just going to plant these right in the ground, right in the, in the dirt. Do not let your seeds get dry even once you plant them. Now, whether you've got little cups like this or you've got little you know red solo cups or even little pots you want to make sure that they're covered up um, I've got these little these little ones that I've got off of Amazon they clip right on there and then I put them in like a little tray like this boom there you go and then you water it from the bottom these are citramon seeds that I had just a few the ones that were sitting in that bag and here we go. I've got three of them in there. Now what I like to do is I like to plant at least 10, 10 seeds per cup. Because once they start growing and stuff like that, uh, once they get their second or third set of leaves, that's when I start to separate them. Citramon. So you got your seeds planted, put your little, little cover on there, and all it's going to do is keep the moisture in there. It's going to stop the seed from drying out. And you don't want your little tray to ever go without water. You always want to make sure you have just a little tiny little bit of water in there so it can pull it up. Uh, and the reason why is because the roots will start coming out the bottom before the, the plant usually sprouts out the top. So you're looking at two to three weeks if you peel the seeds just like this. If you don't peel them, you're looking at three to five weeks before the seeds even sprout. It's a citramello that I didn't peel the seeds off of. Okay, so I just put them in the pot, just like you just saw right now. I just threw them in there and threw some dirt on it and put its little lid on it. Now, I did the same thing. There's the little roots. You can see the little roots coming out. I did the same thing, but I peeled the um the seeds on this uh this one same seeds i peeled half put half in there didn't peel the other half i was like ah screw it i'm gonna put the rest in this other pot and i didn't so these are the ones that i did do and i mean you can see the difference bring this up a little bit look at this when you don't peel the seeds when you do peel them i've got like I, they're they came out twice as fast, I've got twice as many growing, and it just seems like you're just giving them a really good head start. They're both citramello seeds from the same same planting, I planted them at the same time just like I did just now, two, two pots. And uh, you can see they're pretty little, little trifoliate leaf, and uh, a lot of people use these for rootstock. 
Um, but I think the fruits are delicious and, um, I like them, I like them just the way they are. And sometimes I'll graft, I'll graft some stuff onto some of it, maybe three and a half, four weeks. So after about three and a half, four weeks, a month, this is what you have to expect. Not peeling it, peeling it. Now this here is closer to a month and a half. You can see all of them right there. Now at this point, you can pull these out and start separating them. And you can actually take them and separate them into these pots right here. And if you're using red solo cups, uh, you put a handful in there, you get a bunch of them growing like this, and then you separate them. You can separate them back out into red solo cups. Put your little seeds in the bag, keep them in the refrigerator if it's gonna be long-term or if it's within a week. Um, peel a little shell off, throw them in some dirt, um, make sure they stay moist at all times, and uh, you can put them in just a little tray like this, these little cups, or you can just use red soil cups. Like I said, you can just use red soil cups. And within, uh, within a few weeks, you've got little baby citrus trees. Okay, so once you got your little trees in here, and you got your little seeds, and they're, you know, you got some water in your little dish, what do you do with them? Well, you want to keep them around 80 degrees. Um, you, your seeds will not grow unless you're at least 80 degrees uh, for them to germinate. You can get little heat pads, which I do have, but you can also just take this and set this in a really sunny window in, in, a, in a warm part of the house and they will grow. That's old school. Um, but if you guys, if you want to speed it up a little bit, you can do, do this here. These are these, they're little $40 greenhouses. Sometimes you'll see them at Walmart, but they sell them on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Uh, 40, 42, 45. Um, they've got different sizes, different levels. I think this one here is a one. We've got the ground floor, one, two, three, four. Now what I've done is they also sell on Amazon lights that you can install in here as well too. And they come with zip ties, and you zip tie them up there. I got one up there. I got one there, one there, and then I've got one down there with nothing on it. But here's the heat pads, guys. 10 by 20 heat pad. I've got heat pads for both, all, all the different levels that I've got. And here's the different, um, different trees that I've got in here. And you can see, I, I, keep them, I keep a little bit of water in there. There's just a little bit of water and i'll take these off once they get too high where they'll start uh, coming out of there and then i'll also sometimes i'll repot into these like this is just one uh 10 degree tangerine that i repotted in here um here's a couple citramons that haven't been repotted yet looks like there's some other seeds popping out and uh i've also done these i've done this where you've got uh here we go I've got one seed in each one of those little little trays, but I, I keep water in there. I keep it moist, and then I've got a heat pad underneath it, and I keep mine a little warm. I'll show you. I'll show you what temperature I keep mine at. Mine's around 88, 88 between 88 and 89. I keep it at 89. But the only reason why is I'm outside in an unheated shed, and these guys grow nice. Um, I mean, it gets cold at night, but this little greenhouse and everything, it stays nice and warm inside of there. So here's what you have to expect if you're planting citromello seedlings. Uh, this here is a Dunstan. Uh, this one here is a, about a three-year-old Dunstan seedling that I have. And uh, I, I put this one in the ground. I, I sprouted it and grew it for a year. And then uh, it's been in the ground here for two. So it's three years old stayed in a little pot for a year and then it's been here for two years and when I put it in the ground it was little it was probably like you know seven eight, seven eight inches and now it's uh it's doing this but I, I was thinking about topping it right here and kind of letting it start to bush out but I think it'll do it on, on its own I got a lot of good growth off of it this past this past season so and that's uh that's up to my chest there's a three-year-old Dunstan Citramella seedling.
If you're wanting to grow rare, cold hardy citrus seeds at home, go on over and check out our website, toughcitrus.com. We usually offer a handful of rare, cold hardy citrus seeds that you guys can grow yourself. And uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.